got back from the thrift store. And I'll show you what I got this week. And then we're gonna put everything away. So it's such a beautiful day and they're calling for a lot of rain again. So I'm spending all day doing a lot of work and I'm also doing some other videos for all of you as well. But today's the thrift store. So let me show you what I got. I spent $10.25. I am always using funnels and I got this set of funnels. And this will be great for all of the different tinctures that I make. So certain kinds of things that I make, I don't want to reuse the funnel for something else, like for my kerosene oil lamps or for making tinctures. So these would be great. I can write on them. There should be three of them. So they're three different sizes and I got these. What you're going to be seeing is me getting things that you can really use but I did get one item that was just, I could not let it go. I spent a whopping $10, $10.59. So let me show you what I got. Then I got these for a dollar and these were with their canning stuff and I don't know what it is. Honestly, it was with their canning things and I just thought they were so unique. So they, they're little lids. They're like little lids for like a jar. You know me, I'm always finding all kinds of unusual stuff like this. All right, I wanted to show you this. They fit exactly on top of a canning jar. I have never seen anything like this. Have you? I would love to know where you can buy these, but look, you're supposed to put a lid on it, but it's to cover a canning jar. Now I'm really excited. I don't know, maybe you can tell me what they're for. They're for a jar, obviously. And maybe they will fit a regular mouth jar? I don't know. We're gonna try that when canning season comes. I will be canning a few things this year, not a whole lot. Okay, I'll show you the first, I'll show you what I got. I don't buy stuff like this, but I could not, I could not let this go. I just thought it was so beautiful. Village Virtues, Pur Purpose, Village Virtues. If I could get a whole set of these, I mean, it, was, it looked to me like the Victory Garden, and I am all about the Victory Garden this year. You won't believe the difference in my garden because we got rid of all of my raised garden beds. We gave them away, and I'm just going totally old fashioned. And I'm I just thought this was adorable. Just going to my house. I'm gonna have to look it up. Village Virtues, and I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. I thought that was not a bad price. I'd love to see what the other ones are in the set. Do you have anything like this? And then it has this saying: purpose, purposefulness. Purposefulness. It's, I didn't even know that's a word. Purposefulness. I just love it that's going in the house immediately. Then I got this for 50 cents. I just thought this was adorable and I'm going to put it up along here when we're done. Make sure I take my price tags off everything. <laughs> and I thought I could use this to put all of my trowels in. I thought that was just so cute. I got this for 75 cents, a burlap bag. You know, I collect burlap bags and I use them for all of my herbs. I love buying things I can reuse over and over again. So that is going into the herbal. Have you ever had a book that you really loved and somehow you either donated it or you gave it to somebody to borrow and you never got it back? This is the bride's book. This is an amazing book. I could not find it anywhere. And I was just leaving the store and I looked and it was like, I couldn't believe it. There it was. So this book is amazing. I know I loaned it out and I don't know whatever happened to it, but this is all about when you're first married. And I think it's from like 1960s. And I'm trying to find the date on it. Oh, 1973. And some of the advice for married women, I just absolutely love because I think it's so charming, but it would not be proper in today's world, I can tell you that. A lot of people would fuss about it. <laughs> but I just love the bride's books of the 1960s and 50s. Oh, it's just so neat. 
Okay, I got one more thing. And I am not using it for what it's intended for. So I paid $2 for the book. $2.50 for this. So this is to keep a tree standing straight, but I'm using it for something else. So it comes with one, two, four of them. Okay, and they have holes, and I'm making sure the hole went the whole way through. They have holes in them. <laughs> so excited. And I am using these in my garden every single year. See, they have a point on them. <gasps> I'm just so excited about this. And this is what I always say to you about thinking outside the box. Think outside the box. So what I'm using this for is, I'm not even using the rope that came with it, but I am using this for, to line my garden and I'm gonna keep it. So it's gonna be kept every year. So we won't throw these away. I'm gonna go down and work on that now and I could do two rows with it and I'll get some of my old fashioned twine and we're gonna have so much fun out in the garden. Okay, so I got everything. I showed you all of my thrift store finds. Now let me go put some stuff away and then we'll go out in the garden and I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do with these. Oh, so excited. So let's take one of these and put some string here. And this string has beeswax on it. So we're just going to tie one end, see if this works. I can't show you the garden because that video you haven't seen yet. So I'm going to have to just not show you certain parts of my garden, which is very old fashioned looking. So we're just gonna bypass what I was doing today and you'll see that in a future video. And then we'll work down here. This is so cool. I love these. These will last me for many, many, many years. All right, so these rows are marked off. All I need to do is plant in them. Not, not today, because it's supposed to still be cold yet. But I love, love, love them. I just love thinking outside the box. You just never know what usefulness you can use things with how they're not intended. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this garden a little bit and I'll say goodbye to all of you. Bye. Oh,